you don't want to see my stomach, Jesus. I've got a question after you guys, we've got questions here. No, it's true, I've had it before. <laughs> no, I'm not taking I'm not taking the piss on it. I've got a question after you guys, we've got questions here. <laughs> I've already fired two at you. Go on, your turn, Chris. Here's one. It's about CF yeah, titties, right? <laughs> For men. <laughs> I, it's, my chest. And I don't know whether this is the same for everyone. It probably isn't because I'm all kinds of messed up. Um, I've got like excess tit, <laughs> so to speak. So say, for instance, I know it's a condition, but where your nipple is, yeah, it's like under there and around there. There's like tissue there, which I don't think ever goes even. It's called like myastiv balga. <laughs> it's probably not called that, but. Is, yeah. it, is that more, yeah, has anyone else got that in the room? Possibly. That's oh, um, it, it's because um, I, I've had it before on something, and yeah, it's it's female tissue basically. You, you fucking uh, what, mate? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. I've had it before. <laughs> no, I'm not taking. I'm not taking the piss. Honestly, I don't think I've got it now. I don't know, but. Um, I had it just after my porter cap. I had some a load of treatment changes. Yeah. And yeah, and I started growing tits. Oh wow. But, but something was changed and it, it was soon rectified. So just let them know. Is it like estrogen levels? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I can't think what it is. I can't yeah. grow air from too much testosterone, but I can grow tits through estrogen <laughs> what's going on here. Well, at least you got something to play with. You know what I mean? Just to even it out. <laughs> Maybe a beard would be nice as well. Well, you know. You've got one, have you? You've got one. It's like a net that isn't shaved into place, it just doesn't grow. Right, right. It's not it's not a choice, mate. <laughs> yeah. You know what's weird though? I, I wish I was like that, but you probably wouldn't wish the other way. It's weird, isn't it? Well, yeah. Uh, just because you've got a lot of hair, haven't you? So if I had a beard, it looked quite rugged. I mean, yours looks great and all that, but, you know, without hair, you need something to uh, accentuate your face. If I shave this bit off here, I look like fucking Jabba the Hutt. Liv hates me for about a week because my chin's like that. <laughs> diabetic levels and hypos, because I have hypos, but I'm not diabetic yet. Has that changed for you guys? Because I've noticed a massive difference with that. Not on Calf Trio, no. It's not made any difference yeah. for... My diabetes, no. If I've not eaten for at least a couple of hours and I have something sugary, like usually I'd have a hypo about an hour afterwards, like a major hypo. When you say hypo, what do you mean? I just go dizzy, I go faint. I don't I don't know how, how you can't be diabetic and have hypos that sort no. of it's like if Liv is perfectly healthy, but if she doesn't eat for like seven or eight hours and you know she's been at the gym and stuff like that, then hers will go down. But if you're having a hypo after sugar, how can you not, do you know what I mean? How can you not be diabetic? I know. I've, I've questioned that, and I just don't know. I don't know. Isn't hypo a side effect of calf trio? No, no, because I've had it for years. But what I'm saying is since calf trio, I've not had these hypos eating the similar thing. Like I've, I've tried it the other day. I had jelly babies for my breakfast and nothing. I didn't have a hypo. Weird. I have, I have heard people with uh, CF-related diabetes, they've been saying that it's practically made them feel better and easier to control. But I think from their angle, from what I'm guessing, is because they were so ill and their uh, lungs made the diabetes worse, now that that's sort of eased off and the pancreas has become less blocked with sputum and all that stuff, uh, they've really benefited. So maybe yours was just mashed up a little bit. Mm. Maybe the nucleus is just sorted you out i wasn't that blocked up before and it's done jack shit for me because i don't think i think i just had like the mega old diabetes without it you know being like a massive strain in your body so i think mine's just stayed the same but it might have sorted yours right out that's good well, though because that means you might not become diabetic possibly yeah because you know your diabetic level i can't think what it's called um hba1c yeah, because they got to the point where they were like, you're on the verge of becoming diabetic. So I just changed my diet and then it went down again. Since uh, lockdown, it must have gone up again. So I am trying to stop 
doing what I'm doing and eat properly. But I feel like if I let myself go at least a couple of months, I'll probably be on that scale then. Yeah, has anyone ever given you a Libra to check? Not a Libra, but I have had something in my stomach, you know, where it monitors you 24 hours or something. Yeah. I didn't like that one in your stomach because I kept on knocking it because I think it's a needle, isn't it, that stays in, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a, it flashes as well, doesn't it? Like you were saying, because for your videos, Peter, if we had one of them in, little <laughs> sidewalk thing there. You don't want to see my stomach, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. You I start watched a bit basing of... me a wall and saw me back in the sea, think of a big trail. It's not just basic geekiness, really. It's better to undertake than to undertake. You really have to watch it, don't you? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, look at it.